A false awakening is a dream where a person thinks they've woken up from their sleep when really they are still sleeping. To some of you, this may already sound terrifying. Imagine going about your life thinking it's real, but you're actually dreaming. What if that's happening to you right now? To those of you that aren't convinced of just how scary this can be, I've compiled some of the creepiest examples I could find of this. Real stories from real people. My name is Danny Burke and this is the Top 10 Scary False Awakening Stories. As you guys might already know by now, this is going to be a very long video. I actually think it's going to be the longest video I have ever done on this channel. I know a lot of you have been asking for me to do longer videos and I think this topic definitely deserves it. I may have to sip some water in between stories. So starting off at number 10 now, we have the shovel. This story comes from Reddit user Restless Things. They said, I ended up accidentally killing a guy in a dream when I witnessed someone else hit him with a shovel. It wasn't me, but dream logic told me I killed him. I cut to him buried under a tree with a shovel leaning against the tree trunk and its roots. Everything is covered except a rectangle that shows his open, unblinking, soft neon green and blue eyes. Also, the camera lifts off the ground as if I'm now floating perpendicular above the grave, staring at his glossy, impossible eyes. I wake up. I'm running late to school. I'm lagging, getting ready. My movements feel so heavy, but I eventually manage. I hear a knock on my bedroom door. I open it up, and it's my mom telling me to hurry up. Oh, and also, I have a phone call. I nervously answer it, and suddenly my view is of a car driving down the valley street into our neighborhood. I cut back to myself, and I start to get nervous. I hold my breath and enter the dining room to where the front door to our house is. I hear a knock. I know who it is, but I am compelled to open the door. Towering above me in the doorway, as it rains outside, I look up to see a figure of shadow, completely dead except for his eyes. I start to either scream or cry, but before I can, I wake up. It's morning, and I'm not running late. I look around the room and breathe a sigh of relief. You know that feeling when you realize, okay, I'm actually awake, with the optional, what the f just happened? Yeah, it was that. I open my sun blocking curtain, and sunlight fills the room. It feels so good. I smile and turn around, and he's standing right next to me watching me, still shrouded in darkness except his eyes. I wake up again and I cry. I am actually awake this time. I look to the side and jump, even though nothing is there. Moving on to number 9 now, we have Tears of Joy. This one came from Reddit user Vantas, who said this gave them insomnia for a month. They said, I remember waking up in a panic, as if from a terrible dream. My girlfriend is awoken by my commotion, and she says, it's okay babe, it was just a bad dream. I go to get out of bed to go to the bathroom, but something is wrong. My limbs aren't working properly, and I roll out of bed, and I'm trying to crawl towards the door. I reach for the door handle, but it just gets further away the more I reach for it. Just then, I wake up in my bed in a panic, and I thought, what the f just happened? And my girlfriend was awoken by my commotion, and she says, it's okay babe, it was just a bad dream. I go to get out of bed, and I go to the bathroom, but my limbs don't work properly again, and I roll out of bed and try to crawl towards the door. I reach for the handle, and as the doorknob gets further away, something clicks in my brain. This has happened before. Just then, I wake up again in my bed in a panic, and I thought, what in the actual f and my girlfriend was awoken by my commotion, and she says, it's okay babe, it was just a bad dream. Click. I started sobbing on my girlfriend, and she says, shh, it's okay, I'm here. This was different. I wanted to splash water on my face, and so I go to get out of bed, but my limbs don't work properly. Crawl towards the door, still reaching for the handle as it gets further away. F just then, I wake up in my bed in a panic, and I thought, make it stop. And my girlfriend was awoken by my commotion, and she says, It's okay, babe. It's just a bad dream. Frantic terror in my voice and tears in my eyes, I beg to my girlfriend, It keeps happening. Please, you've got to help me. She looks concerned and says, What keeps happening? Then, as if my will were being manipulated, I roll out of bed, try to crawl out of the door, and reach for the handle as it gets further away. I can't remember how many slight variations of this scenario played over and over, but when I finally woke up and noticed light coming through the curtains, I sprung out of bed like a maniac and bolted to the door handle and flung it open. The hallway. Finally. Freedom. I collapsed and began to cry trembling tears of joy. Moving on to number 8 now, we have the little girls. Creepy little girls are something that are 
you know very creepy in real life so I have a lot of sympathy for reddit user easily angry girl who kept having false awakening dreams about them. She said lately I've been having false awakenings from nightmares like the title says. I will dream that I'm in bed and there's a foggy unsettling atmosphere. Nothing really happens but I'm scared. I get to a point where I'm too scared and think I want to wake up. So I wake up and I'm in bed when two little girls appear on the door of my bedroom talking. I can't understand what they're saying. Again, nothing really terrifying but it scares me enough to wake me up. So I wake up and I'm in bed. Everything is normal. Finally, my mother opens the door and comes in and I ask her what is she doing home. She jumps on my bed in an animal like position and asks me if I'm scared. Then she starts biting her knee. Then she comes closer and closer and all I can think is I want to wake up now. So I wake up and I'm left with this confused feeling, scared of the possibility of not having actually woken up. It isn't always the same dream and the number of false awakenings vary. I'm not sure what to do or stop doing to not go through this. It happens a few times a week. Moving on to number 7 now, we have Hell and Back. This one was posted to Reddit by the user called Kurobix. As you might expect from the name for it, it's not going to be a pretty story. They said, at some point of trying to fall asleep one night, I noticed auditory hallucinations. They were of my same friend going on about whatever, which I find hilarious. At one point, I came to realize I had subtle control over what I was hearing. It's really hard to explain because I would hear unpredictable things, but I was able to change the subject of the conversation, sort of. I was aware that I was hallucinating and I was going to enjoy the ride. Around this point in my life, or at least I think, my friends roommates were coming into the kitchen and doing whatever and these sounds of dishes were mixing with my hallucinations and I didn't know what was real and what was not. I was paralyzed. I was soon getting visual hallucinations as well of people entering the room, interacting with me and leaving. I'm sure at this point the roommates were gone if they were actually even there and I wasn't just hallucinating them as well. These hallucinations were very subtle, starting out as just voices but eventually the figures began to emerge. Throughout all of this, the amount in which I would hallucinate came in waves as I'd like to describe it. The lower parts being no hallucinations and I would find myself sleep paralyzed on the couch and the higher ones being people coming in the room and saying things. I kept on waking up back on the couch, looking at the room, paralyzed, slowly emerging myself back into whatever this dream hallucination experience was. I had countless false awakenings here. At the time, I thought they were real. Each time I woke up looking at the room, unable to move, hearing and then soon seeing things which I thought were real. I thought I wasn't in an actual dream. I thought I was just sleep deprived and hallucinating. My mind was projecting sounds and sights into the real life environment I was looking at. Eventually I was able to move and I could see my friend and talk with him and I thought this was all real but it was soon a false awakening. As soon as I learned when I woke up again, it was around this point where I realized something wasn't right. I wanted out. I wanted to get up, but I was trapped in this place, paralyzed. I was stuck in this loop of waking up on the couch and hallucinating until a surreal dream sequence would emerge. I realized I was in this trippy, twisted version of reality, which was brightly colored and becoming less like the actual place I was in. Here I had the thought, this is hell and I prayed for this craziness to stop, asking to be saved by Jesus. I was in full existential panic mode. I soon came to a room which opened up outside. It was dusk and there was this square pool with water about two to three feet deep and there was this brown pit bull with three bumps on its head, slightly stubbier versions of what giraffes have on their heads. It was just a weird looking dog and it was attacking a smaller helpless black pug in the water. It appeared as though the pit bull was trying to drown it. I yelled at it and it stopped, got out and looked into the pool. Now in the pool there was another brown pit bull thing and it was being attacked by two black pugs and something about it all felt really profound. The pit bull then got out of the water moments before it threw me a concerned look. My mother was nearby and commented, another small one and it'll be fair saying another black pug should help the others drown the pit bull, even though it felt like the pit bull was now losing to the pugs, keeping it down under the water. I walked back into the house, ready to give up, as I prayed one last prayer for help, and soon after, my friend's roommates in real life came back. They made too much loud noise and it woke me up and I was no longer paralyzed. I was back in reality. 
thank God. Next up at number 6 now we have On The Ceiling. This one came from Reddit user Your Username 22 They said, so my family recently moved into a new house, so this was about a year ago. We've all experienced something odd in our old house, whether it be an uneasy feeling, hearing voices, seeing things, lights turning on and off etc. You get the point. We mostly brushed it off, maybe got on a good laugh out of a couple of things. Anyways I've always had really vivid dreams. A couple of years back I had 4 dreams in one night about a ghost in our house. Not a big deal, whatever. So in this particular dream, I remember being in a huge warehouse type place that was run down with moss and almost looked like it had been burnt down. I was with a group of other teenagers. We were there to open our third eye, one by one. We would go into this room, get strapped down and a woman would open our third eye. I can't remember exactly but I had a horrible feeling in this dream. She was evil. I'm pretty sure a kid came out and warned us after he got his third eye opened. I changed my mind and wanted to leave. But she took me into the room and strapped me down. At this point I was feeling pure dread. She drilled something right into my forehead and I woke up, or so I thought. I was in my room, in my bed. I still had this intense feeling and I looked up at my ceiling. There she was floating right above me with this awful evil look. She tried to pull me from the bed up towards the ceiling. This was a feeling I've gotten once before trying to come out of sleep paralysis, like my soul was being separated from my body. I remember trying to fight back and eventually fell back down on my bed and actually woke up this time. I searched my room for a good 10 minutes. I was nearly in tears. This was one of the scariest dreams I've ever experienced in my entire life. Moving on to number 5 now we have The Missing Finger. This one was shared by a reddit user who said that false awakenings often happen to them but that this is one of the worst cases they've ever had. They said, I hadn't woken up yet but I was having a nightmare where I was visiting my mother and she overdosed on pills, started hysterically shaking, spewing black foam out of her mouth and then started smiling and I knew right then it was a nightmare. And four myself to wake up. When I woke up I was in my room, only the furniture was rearranged and my bed was blocking the door. My bed frame is extremely heavy, too heavy for one person to move and there's no exit except for a window and the door it was blocking. I started to panic trying to figure out what the f was going on and who did this. I was still a little shook from the previous nightmare and couldn't really collect my thoughts. I occasionally take Ambient to help me sleep so the thought crossed my mind that I slept walk. I rearranged my furniture but I couldn't explain my bed blocking the door. I tried to open the window to get out but when I reached to slide it open my hand had like 9 fingers and some were really deformed. It freaked me out so I closed my eyes, shook my head and tried to wake up again. This time I was in an unfamiliar bedroom but this this time I stopped trying to wake up and started trying to control my dream. I couldn't though. I tried to fly but would only float. I tried to change my surroundings but that only caused more creepy stuff to happen until some really unpleasant things happened that caused me to try to wake up again. When I woke up this time it might have been for real only I was so tired that I started to doze back off but would catch myself and be like, nah man you've got to get up. I didn't want to keep having nightmares. Only sleep paralysis ensued and I felt like I just couldn't wake up enough to escape it. The false awakening loop and actually waking up to sleep paralysis happened a few more times and led to another nightmare until what felt like maybe an hour had passed. Moving on to number 4 now we have The Figure. This is a simple one that was posted to reddit by Avenged Thrice. As loops go, this one is pretty horrifying. They said, this happened some years ago and so I don't remember the details of my original lucid dream. What I do remember is that I was having a great time when I suddenly woke up in my bed. Thinking nothing was the matter, I went to close my eyes again only to see a dark figure walk right past my doorway with his or its head turning towards me. Knowing this couldn't possibly be a family member or friend, I promptly freaked the f out. At that moment I woke up again, only to see the same figure walk past while looking at me. This continued 2-3 to three more times until I started to seriously lose my head. It must have literally happened another 10 times, to the point where when I finally woke up for real I was completely drenched in sweat and shaking profusely. It took me about 5 minutes to gain the courage to get out of bed and exit my room, but I was still so far from convinced that I was actually awake. For the entire day I was extremely anxious and could not function normally. To this day, recalling that morning scares the sh 
kicked out of me, especially knowing it might happen again. Moving on to number 3 now, we have Madness. This story comes from a reddit user called Hannah, who said that she had this dream after a weekend of partying, and believes this had something to do with it. She said, I remember turning the TV off as I fell asleep, and next thing I know, I'm waking up to the figure of my housemate coming into the room. I felt like I was seeing this scene through a mesh screen, or I was just aware of it, but couldn't open my eyes properly. I felt like I was drugged. I felt him get onto the bed with me, and then he lay on top of me and started kissing me. I was trying to fight him off, but felt paralyzed and completely knocked out. I remember trying to bite him as he kissed me. I remember trying to shout his name and tell him to stop. So then, I woke up again and realized this must have just been a horrific dream, but the only way I've come to this conclusion is by logic. I mean, it felt so real. I was in the same position in my bed, everything was the same, but I can't imagine my housemate would actually have done this, so I can only assume it was a horrible realistic nightmare. I continued to have further false awakenings throughout the night. In one, I felt like I was drugged again, and I think I was having a half lucid dream, or maybe this was sleep paralysis, and I wondered if there was a car of monoxide leak because I felt so sleepy but mentally aware and I couldn't get up. I remember vividly trying to peel my eyes open and I couldn't. Like I was dreaming I was in my bed in real life but dying by this poisoning trying to wake up and save myself and I couldn't. I really woke up again at 2.30 in the morning and felt like it should have been 6 in the morning already with how much I'd been through. I then lay there for the next 3 hours but felt like I was in an in between state of sleep and wake. I was having weird thoughts patterns and links, hearing voices, noises, like crazy random dreams, but half awake and I didn't feel rested or asleep at all. I've experienced something similar before, and as I'm falling asleep, I feel my thoughts making more random connections, but it has never been in the middle of the night and been this prolonged and scary before. I felt I was going crazy, and this, along with the nightmares of not being able to wake up, I just felt I was going mad. Moving on to number 2 now, we have Infinite Loops. Now I found this story on a lucid dream dream website. They started off by saying, at first I was having dinner with my family and my grandfather and a few people I don't remember. Then I started recognizing some weird things that didn't make sense. Then finally, the idea came to me that maybe I'm in a dream. So I pushed my chair back and shouted, this is a dream, isn't it? So everybody started looking at me and suddenly the scene changed. I was back in my bed and the lights were turned off. I knew it was still a dream because I didn't turn off the lights that night. For a few seconds, nothing happened. Then I heard someone laughing at me. I couldn't see who. I got frightened. I tried to move my head, but I couldn't. Then suddenly I woke up in my bed with the lights turned on. At first, I thought I was woken up in real life. But later, I found out that I wasn't. It was another dream. I got even more frightened, so I tried to wake up. After lots of trying, I woke up in my bed, but again, I found out it was another dream. This kept going on over 20 times. Every time I woke up, I started shouting and screaming. Even in one of those loops after I woke up, I went and woke my brother up in the other room and told him what's going on, and he told me that I'm crazy. Later in the dream, I found out that that was a dream too. So again, I started shouting and jumping around. Finally, in my last loop, I saw a big giant robot in my room who was trying to smash me. So finally, I woke up in my real bed. For 30 seconds, I couldn't realize if it was real or not. I haven't been able to sleep since that dream because I'm afraid the loop will start again. And finally, number one now, we have the body melting. I found this one on a site for Ryerson University. Evan Manning shared a story which went, I'm awake. I have been for what feels like a couple of hours. Before that, I had been sleeping peacefully in my bed with my girlfriend beside me. I'm not entirely sure the exact timing of my recent events since waking up. Life at this instant, for some odd reason, is extremely blurry. Moments ago, I was in a car watching a movie, and before that, I was in a classroom getting advice from an instructor on an article I have in progress. Now, I am sitting on my couch watching football on a brisk fall Saturday. I don't know how I transition from the classroom room to the car to hear so fluidly, but I feel comfortable nonetheless. My girlfriend is sitting with me. We are not saying much to each other. My focus is mostly on the football game on my TV. I also have my laptop in hand to check on the NFL scores. Without mention of where she's going, my girlfriend suddenly stands up and walks out through the back door. As she exits, I notice the door's blinds are fully rolled up, so I can peek out at her if I so please. I look down at my watch and notice it's nearly dinner time, which doesn't make sense. Just a couple a couple of hours ago, I had been sleeping, awaiting the morning. How can it be this late? 
I begin to panic. With my head now on a swivel, I shift to check on what my girlfriend is still doing out in my backyard. The blinds are somehow closed now, and my house feels freezing. I have the unsettling feeling that she is completely gone. In this instant, I realize I am dreaming, and I have been awake in a realistic dreamscape for several hours. Immense fear settles into my stomach. I become dizzy and vomit. My body melts, and I collapse. I need to wake up. I start yelling out for help to anyone who can hear me. Through muffled shouting, my girlfriend shakes me conscious, and I realize I'm still in bed. Now I'm actually awake. Whoa! I don't even. I don't even know what to say at this point. All right, guys. Usually I have quite a long intro and outro, but this video has been long enough. Let's just leave it at that. Let me know all. Of, let me know all about your weird dream experiences. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, my name is Danny Burke, and I'll see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.